Hi, Marsha Grace here. Welcome to New Day, New Word. It's Friday, and on Fridays we uh, have fun, have a little fun because uh, I'm a lover of uh, language and words, and so we play with words. What we're doing is we are working our way through the alphabet, and we're up to the letter L today. Uh, and I came up with this word because um, actually. Uh, a month or two ago, I gave a talk at the Miller Business Center, and my topic was called uh, Be Heard. And it was a discussion of how we get to be heard by our, uh, com our um, uh, pop prospective clients. And of course, the whole point of being heard is that we have to be good listeners. You're not gonna be heard if you don't know how to listen. So today's word is listen. And I want to talk about how we can um, discuss the word listen. How do you think about the word listen? You know, when you hear that, what, is it, what does it mean? Because normally we think we listen with our ears, right? Someone's talking to us and we hear them. And so, and hopefully we're listening and not interrupting and trying to jump in there and say what we have to say before they even get a chance to finish uh, or take a deep breath. So uh, have you ever caught yourself doing that, you know, where someone is talking and, and, uh, and you just can't wait till you can say what you want to say? And what I find happens when we do that is we kind of push people away. You know, they kind of, they kind of want to uh, uh, not hang around because they're not being honored. You're not nurturing the relationship uh, as, as well as you could be uh, if you were a better listener. So... <clears throat> Um, some of the tips that I gave about being a good listener come from a desire within your heart, of course, to be, you know, to be a friend, to be, uh, to be someone who uh, wants to participate fully and actively uh, in a conversation uh, with whomever you're with. So, of course, that's very important, you know, to ha you have that desire to begin with. I mean, if you don't care, well, <laughs> you're not going to listen anyway. But... Um, but you know, yeah. So that starts out that way, and yet sometimes we get excited and we wanna we wanna get in there and say what we have to say. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing either. Uh, a lively discussion is always good. So, um, but another thing we can think about is uh, slowing our process of hearing down a little bit, so that we really can uh, notice what someone is saying and and take it in, and let it sort of percolate there a little bit, uh, so that when we do. Uh, choose to respond, that response is um, meaningful in, 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 uh, in several ways. You know, meaningful in the sense that, oh, um, I'm saying something that's useful, that not, and not uh, judgmental in any way, but useful so that we can um, really enjoy our conversation together. So being a good listener is a, is extremely important. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, if you agree, please hit the uh, hit the like button. You know, yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, hi, Tamala. Good to see you. Um, so, I hope that you um, will take some thought today. Like, in you know, if you go out, you're gonna. It's Friday. Maybe going out with some friends, and you might want to. Um, be more aware of how your conversation goes and if you're really listening to people and if they're listening to you because um, and this is this is unfortunately what can happen but I've noticed and this has happened in my life where I just noticed that there was a person or two in my life who just never listened to anything I said they had no idea what I was doing never asked me a question was not interested in me as a friend you know I, maybe I was good for x thing but you know um, but otherwise totally not involved and I realized that that was hurtful to me and so I made the decision to leave that relationship um, and and that was a good thing you know I, I felt good about that has that ever happened to you have you had to leave a relationship because you felt you weren't being heard, that you weren't being appreciated or, uh, or you nurtured in any way? Um, I'm sure that's very common, and we tend not to want to do that because we feel like we're going to feel guilty if we do that. And uh, that's not necessary. It's not necessary to do that. You can leave a relationship um, lovingly and feel the better for it it's because you're honoring yourself. And that's, that's really what it comes down to. Being a good listener comes from a place 
of our of nurturing ourselves because everything in our life is going to change as a result we're going to be better friends we're going to be uh, more caring people and we're going to take better care of ourselves too so isn't that crazy how i got all around this all this stuff you know from the word listen <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed our little conversation about uh, the word listen today and enjoy your weekend until we meet again. Bye-bye.